The NHL has a six-game slate for Friday, and we head to Buffalo, New York, and break down the game between the New York Islanders and the Buffalo Sabres. Don Buster here from wagertalk.com with another free play video in the NHL. And uh, if you have not subscribed to Wager Talk TV, please do so. We're on the march to 200,000 subscribers, and all we need you to do is hit that little red button, hit subscribe, and then you can get all the free content that Wager Talk TV has through all kinds of sports. On the Wager Talk Live Odds page right now, we have the Buffalo Sabres as a 115 favorite with the total of six under 20. Now, the Islanders come to Buffalo limping in here with uh, three straight losses, and they've actually lost uh, uh, four to five. So not good for the Islanders. Uh, the Sabres, they've been playing pretty good hockey of late. They've won three of their last four games. And when these teams get together, actually Buffalo uh, has had their way with them a little bit. They've won seven of the last ten and three out of the last four in these last couple of years. Uh, but for us, this number at 115, kind of – Little, little skeptical on that 115. So that's telling us that the, you know, the odds makers might think that the Islanders might have a have a game, and there might be a reason why for that. Uh, for us, though, because of the number and because of what uh, I will mention a little bit later, we will pass on the side here. What we do like. We like the over, the over six here. It might even get to five and a half. We're doing this video very early, so we'll take the six. The six is under 20, so get six even money, which which is fine. We, we, we like to see this game as a high-scoring game. And uh, we are quite aware that these two teams get together and they play unders. There's no doubt about it. But this situation here tells us that this game may be the opposite of that. And the reason... The Islanders were shut out last game. And it, they have a very distinct pattern when they get shut out. Now, this Islanders club, it's been feast or famine for them goal-wise. No doubt about that. They either can't score or they score in bunches. Well, let's just talk about when they've been shut out. Because they've been shut out four times this season. That's incredible. Four times. The first time they were shut out by Dallas. The total of the game was 6-2, total of 8. The next time they are shut out by St. Louis, the total 4-3. They won 4-3. The next game they are shut out Detroit, of course, they won 4-3. So little pattern there. All those games go over. I think the Islanders will score some goals tonight in Buffalo. Then let's just look at the Sabres. Now the Sabres, right at the beginning of the year, they were you know playing a little bit different type of hockey trying to play a little bit more defense. Yeah, well, that didn't work for the Sabres. They end up uh, only scoring one goal in each of their first three games, playing that little defensive style. Uh, so then it looks like they decided to go back to last year's way of winning hockey games and opening things up. Well, since they've done that, the next seven games that they have played, five overs and two pushes at the number of six. So we see another wide open game for Buffalo who hasn't played since Monday. So they're going to be flying. I see, I see them scoring a bunch of goals tonight, even if Sorokin's in net. Uh, I just, I just like this game over the, just the way that it sets up situational wise. So we're going to pass on the side. And that reason, what I was saying, because after each shutout, the Islanders have won every game after their shutout, but and those are the only three games the Islanders have won all year. So, again, bad, just a tough handicap on the side. So we play the over in this one. Now head over to wagertalk.com and go to my uh, homepage at Don Buster where we have a great deal in the NHL. You get an entire month of NHL hockey for only $149. That's $5 a day, and that includes all 5% plays that we release throughout the month. So head on over to wagertalk.com, go to my homepage, and check that out. We also, with that, you can get tonight's play, which is a 4% NHL best bet. So grab those packages over at wagertalk.com. Now, leave a comment. Let us know what you like. Uh, we're, 
We had a lot of comments early in these videos. Uh, lately, we haven't. So leave a comment. Tell us, even if you don't like this game, tell us there's, like I say, there's six games on the slate. One's early. Just a reminder, one's early today. Uh, so let us know what you like. Also, give us a like on the video. It's much appreciated. And make sure you subscribe to Wager Talk TV. As always, best of luck with all plays today and all plays this weekend. And have a great weekend.